What's up everyone, this is Scratch and I've got a video here for you. We're going to talk about avatars, Xbox avatars, and particularly with the new Xbox One experience. Um, through all my new Xbox experience videos that I've posted, there's a common theme that keeps popping up and that is Xbox avatars and their role uh, in the new dashboard. How do I get to stuff? Is avatar store back? All of these things. So I'm going to try to attempt to answer some of these questions and just kind of show you guys how it works. Um, and keep in mind that it's possible for this stuff to change because um, it still is in development and Xbox is listening to your feedback every day and changing things um, as they go and as they make updates and improvements or whatever. But this is as it stands uh, right now on the 29th of October. Um, this is what it's like. So it's probably going to be pretty close because I believe the NXOE is coming out in about like two weeks, maybe the 12th. Don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure. I'll leave a link in the description with the exact date. But first, let's just jump over to my profile. And the first thing you can see here is I have um, an avatar pick as my gamer pick. Uh, so we're going to select my profile and we're going to come in here. And you can see that it goes uh, and shows my avatar there. I'm playing guitar. And so it has my animations and everything um, are visible on my profile page. And as you would expect, we can jump over here to the following and the followers. And if we go down here to uh, Bowski 477, you can see that she has her animation with the Stanley Cup because she's a big Bruins fan. Um, but you can see when someone looks at your profile, they get to see your avatar um, and whatever and whatever animations or whatever that you pick. Um, so just as an aside, um, Bowski and another fellow Xbox MVP, Yenzer, actually went to a uh, Assassin's Creed Syndicate launch event or whatever in London. They flew out. They flew them out to London. They took a look at it and whatever, and they reported back on their experience and the stuff that they uh, saw while they were out there. And that is published on the Xbox Newswire. So that's news.xbox.com. That's the official news site uh, by Xbox, run by Microsoft. And so I'll leave a link to that in the description below if you want to check that out. It's actually pretty cool. Um, but back to avatars. We'll, we'll, get, uh, we'll get more into this here really quick. So if we go over here to achievements, uh, the other place you can see them is I'll just go to Assassin's Creed because I've been playing uh, Black Flag. It's one of my favorites. Um, you can see that it has all of these stats and everything. Um, how many ships I've sunk, how much time I've played, all that sort of stuff. But if I go to compare with friends and I go down here to Freak Train because I know he's played a lot of Black Flag, um, you can see that it shows both of our avatars and he's actually uh, beating me in gamer score. And like I'm looking all mad and he's happy and waving and cheerful, but I'm glad for him. So that's kind of cool. Your avatars kind of emote based on what's going on. So. Um, he's got a little bit more gamer score than I do, not much. Um, he's got like a couple more achievements, not many, not many more synchronizations or anything like that. I'm pretty much almost beating him in Abstergo challenges, um, ship sunk and all that. And then we get down here to the achievements and it shows, you know, when he unlocked it, when I unlocked it and what it's for and all that stuff. So that's kind of cool. But we will jump all the way back over here to my profile. Actually, we got to go back out because I'm looking at the Assassin's Creed there. Uh, so we're going to go all the way over here to my profile. And then we're going to go down here to Customize Profile. And then you can see that we have Edit Avatar. So this is where we're going to edit the avatar. And it's pretty much got everything in it. The Avatar Store. This is actually an app. Um, so it starts us out right here with Style. So we can go, let's say, to the Tops, for example. And you can see I have all of my, it says purchases, but these are actually stuff that I've gotten from different things, uh, mostly the ambassador program, uh, like the chat bubble shirt and the holiday shirt. Actually, I think I'll keep this holiday shirt on because it's getting, it's getting close to that time. So I'll just leave that one on. So now I've done that so I can press X to save it and I'm all happy. Um, but if I press the if I press the menu button again, it brings over in the um, snap there on the side, so I can do take a photo, and take a photo is going to be like I can I can uh, you know pick my background. Um, 
just pick this one for example or this one yeah that's a good one and then um, go back to animations and I can be like this and I can press that to capture and I can save as my gamer pick and so I have a new holiday gamer pick now um, so that's whoops I went back out too far yeah uh, you can see it was changed okay so if I press the menu button again so we have the customize we can do the style the customize is gonna change like my features like my face if I wanted to shave whatever um, settings is if I wanted to create a new avatar and then the avatar store currently right now uh, just shoots you over to uh, Microsoft Edge and takes you into the avatar store that's on xbox.com um, I don't know if that's going to change and we'll have an avatar store back on the console like we had before I personally would like to see that but um, it's getting pretty full as you can see like if you look over there there's over 3500 items for shirts and there's 17 1700 props 2000 hats 105 gloves how's there 105 gloves that should be an even number um but anyways uh you get what i'm saying so that's it for the avatars i hope you guys enjoyed it if you have any other questions or want me to make a video about something else or talk about something else um you know where the comment section is so go ahead and leave one so Thank you guys for watching, and I will catch you all in the next video.